The Triumph of Hat and Walmart, written by Finnick. Let's face the facts. Hat's desperate for a weave. Ever since it got snatched by the deformed bear, she's been searching for it, seeking revenge. On one particular morning, Hat woke up from a deep slumber. She reached for her hairbrush, now christened Airbrush, and brushed her scalp. She dragged her feet to the bathroom to wash the eye crust out of her eyes and the dried spit off her face. She put on some jeans and a pink sweater and a hat with hair coming out of it. That'll fool them, she thought. She sat down for a healthy breakfast of Walmart toast from the bread aisle. She layered an unhealthy amount of butter and raised it to her mouth. Mmm, American style. She quickly finished her food and checked her schedule. Hmm, deformed and bear hunting is today. Hat grabbed her Walmart gun and headed out the door. Once outside, she checked the news for the latest sightings. She found the latest date, which was two days prior. She switched on her GPS and set the location for the dark forest. After a few hours of non-stop walking, thank goodness for the Walmart hiker set, she reached a cave in the middle of the forest. Quickly, Hat switched on her headlamp and strode in bravely. She shouted, I will have my revenge on the imbecile that stole my weave. A low growl sent a tremor through the ground, causing Hat to jerk up and down, which made her hat wig slide off her head and onto the ground. A swift movement drew her attention to the east side of the cave. After looking for a while, she turned back to pick up her hat wig. Only, it wasn't there. Hat's face twisted into anger and disgust. Even Architect Kurt would be proud. She pulled out a hair tie to put her hair into a ponytail. Only, there was no hair. Ugh, habits. She stomped off angrily, deeper into the cave, in the direction where the sound came from. She thought she heard a noise behind her, so she took off running, as fast as she could. I probably shouldn't have eaten so much butter, she said. As the butter melted into fat before her eyes, the fat slowed her down tremendously. Hat realized that if she didn't want to become the butter to someone else's toast, she'd need to transform. Rat face, whiskers on! After a lot of flopping around, Hat transformed into Hat the Rat. She let out a mighty squeak and charged down the tunnels, twisting and turning with speed and agility. She was running so fast that she wasn't able to stop when she saw a giant lump in front of her. She skidded into the massive thing with a loud thud. She curled her tail between her legs and tried to back out of the tunnel. Unfortunately, she was too late. The creature let out a giant growl and turned to face her. Soon, she came face to face with the one and only deformed bear. At first, Hat was terrified, but she quickly remembered that this was the reason she was out there. And she wasn't going down without a fight. She stood up tall and strong. She stared it in the eye and said, You, you're the one who stole my weave. You're the reason Walmart is better than me. Although Walmart has always been better than me. Anyways, that's not the point. I'm here to take back what's rightfully mine. Hat sucker punched the bear right where it really hurts. It groaned and stumbled back. That's right, and there's a lot more where that came from. Hiya! Hat threw punch after punch at the large bear. Slowly, it began to bleed cotton stuffing. She grabbed her gun and shot it with a 950 JDJ bullet, basically a really large bullet. At last, it tumbled to the ground. Hat marched over to it and snatched her hair back. She placed it on her head immediately. The hair particles began to merge with her scalp and those thingies in your head that grow hair. They're called follicles. She went from bald hat to regular hat in just a few seconds. Hat was so happy she couldn't contain her joy. She jumped up and down, screeching loudly. Unfortunately, the noise caused the case to crumble and collapse, killing Hat instantly. Well, it would have, if she didn't have her Walmart survival kit. Thank goodness for that. The end.